All right, so who am I speaking with? You're speaking with Craig Hergenrother, CIO for Barry Waymiller Companies. Excellent. Craig, what I really loved about your presentation was the fact that you're trying to build leadership with your existing employees. So walk me through it. How are you going about doing that? Barry Waymiller has a culture that is built upon around people. It's a people-centric culture. We have something called our guiding principles of leadership. Um, we have a living legacy of leadership. Everything we do is about the people who are in our organization and without. Uh, if, if we sum up the way we measure success in our business, we say we measure success by the way we touch the lives of others. And that is not just a simple slogan for us. It's something that's very, very meaningful. And so the way that we approach leadership is we've created our own university because we're looking for things like communication skills. We're looking for recognition and celebration. We're looking for bringing out the best of people. One of the things that we've found is that anyone um, in business today is normally hired for their hands, their technical skills, their machining skills, whatever it might be. We are looking to engage their hearts and their minds and we find if we treat people properly, if we engage them, if we recognize their, their talents, that we get that response. We get their hearts and their minds for free. We're already paying for their hands. Why not get the rest of it? So that's what our leadership culture is about. That's really a, a good, good way of making it. You're, you're getting this for free. So can you point to one specific example of an employee that you have already sort of developed into a fantastic leader and how, how did that manifest itself? Sure, uh, one of the better examples is our current director of uh, infrastructure. Uh, he's a gentleman who had all of the technical skills, but as we tend to say in uh, businesses, uh, you find people saying, well, they don't have the people skills, but that's understandable because they're in IT, they're technical people. And that's so grossly unfair because it isn't them that hasn't developed the people skills. It's us as leaders that have failed to show them uh, a way to recognize that we do want those other skills. And um, Robert is the individual I'm talking about. He was a very technical, good, good man. Um, but he was never comfortable leading. And we got him engaged in things like our Barry Waymiller Club. Uh, we encouraged him to attend the Barry Waymiller University. Um, he did more and more outside his comfort zone. And by doing that, he became a better and better leader. The people that report to him are now being led by him in a similar fashion. He's bringing out the best of them. And uh, it was just last week that uh, Robert led a class in uh, celebration and recognition which is part of our Barry Waymiller University. And so he spent a week teaching others within our organization how to recognize and celebrate the talents of the people within our organization. When you're looking at people outside of your organization, how, how best can they dem demonstrate their leadership and that you know, they'd be right for your organization? Or is that not necessary? You're like, well, well, we'll train you to be leaders. It is not absolutely necessary. We're looking for people it was mentioned by one of the uh, members on the uh, di di dais today that um, they're looking for certain things. We look for passion. We're looking for people who understand business, who aren't so engrossed in the technology that they have lost sight of everything else. As long as they show an inkling of desire, we believe we have the culture that will bring that out in people. Uh, we believe that's our responsibility. We have people captive 40 plus hours a week. It's our responsibility, and we, th we take it seriously, that they should go home fulfilled and that we make a positive impact on them, and in return, they're going to carry that forward to their family, to their community, and everyone's going to be better for it. Very last question. When you are doing an interview, do you have one specific question that you ask people that sort of solicits a really great answer? There's, there's the age-old... Um, questions that everybody asks, but um, one of the things I like to ask is, what is your greatest family uh, recollection? Uh, what made a difference in your life from a family standpoint? And that kind of gives me some insight outside of the technical arena about what this individual is all about. Can you think of one really great answer to that question? 
a gentleman gave us a, uh, an answer about how um, his parents, uh, the sacrifices basically that they made so that he could go to college. And um, the recognition of that in his folks and uh, the, I won't say how, but he made a, uh, uh, he, he showed them his appreciation in a very unique way and it uh, left a lasting uh, impression upon me.